Hey, what's up guys, my name is Shrivix, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Cooler Master Devastator 3 mouse and keyboard combo. So, I know this is a different type of video from what I usually make, which is Valorant content, but obviously Valorant is down for a couple days before the full release. So, I decided to make a technology video um, based on a recording that I did about a year ago, or actually almost two years ago now. I never got to get this recording out, so I'm going to be doing an updated voiceover of this. So, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm sorry if there's bad lighting, but anyways, let's get into it. So, let's take a look at the box. There's a picture of the keyboard and mouse. And then there's a text down below explaining what is in the box. And in the top right corner there is the LEDs. And there's a Core Master logo at the top left. On the top we have some information in many different languages. And on the back we have the same, some more information on the mouse and keyboard. So let's get into the box. I'm having a bit of trouble here it seems. And... Have I got it? Not, not yet. All right, looks like we finally got it to open by ripping the box completely. But here we can see the keyboard and mouse in a plastic cover and some foam protection for the mouse. So attached was, I think, a little wire, so I couldn't completely get it out. So I think I had to cut that off, but I'll meet you guys back when I have done that. So in the box, there was a booklet on the combo, basically explaining uh, what there was, if this will focus. But yeah, basically explaining how to use it, how to set it up, and what comes in the box in a couple different languages as well. As you can see, there's a gaming keyboard and mouse combo with seven different colors. And here's the keyboard that I've managed to get out from the plastic cover. And there's plastic on the sides to protect it. But basically, it looks a pretty good size. Get the protective film off. So the keys aren't too visible with the naked eye, so it's probably better to use with the LED um, in the backlight. But yeah, so far it looks pretty good. So here's a mouse and its protective cover, the foam and obviously the plastic film. It's got a non-braided USB cable, so it isn't the most durable, but it's lasted me for quite a while. Here's the back, and on the side it does have two um, buttons, programmable buttons, that you can use in-game, and obviously the clicks, um, they sound pretty good. The scroll feels alright, not the best, I'll be honest with you. So now that we've got the keyboard set up, um, as you can see it has the red backlighting at the moment, but basically I'm going to do a sound test and show you guys how it sounds. And I'm also going to show you guys the different colours. It has red, green, dark blue, yellow, cyan, purple, white, and red. Or you can turn it off if you want. And obviously, I was just checking it out here. Feels pretty good. Checking out the WASD keys. And at the top, you have your volume keys or your media keys. And uh, yeah, they feel pretty sturdy actually. But yeah, in the sound test, you guys can hear those as well. So now we're going to take a look at the mouse. Obviously, it's still on red. But um, yeah, felt pretty good. And it also has the same colors as the keyboard. The seven different colors. Obviously, for the price that this comes at, it didn't feel high quality um, obviously still felt cheap the keyboard felt a bit cheap the mouse felt a bit cheap but overall um, it's pretty much what you can expect but as you can hear now the different um, mouse buttons are two buttons on the side were actually quite loud and overall the clicks are loud but they're quite good in my opinion so now I'm going to give you guys a sound test after this I will be giving you my thoughts on how it's been over this past year and a half so here's a sound test of the keyboard the F keys and the MIDI keys so overall it feels um, like a membrane keyboard probably a bit better than some membrane keyboards um, but it didn't really give any feedback except for the MIDI keys they sounded a bit more like a mechanical keyboard but yeah that's the sound test and uh, now let's move it to the review basically I've had this um, keyboard and mouse combo for a year and a half now and overall it's done me pretty good so far um the mouse has been pretty good um as you can hear right now the clicks are solid but yeah it's been working pretty well i uh, don't have any complaints about the mouse except it can get a bit dusty at times there is some dust jammed in some areas the only thing i would change would be less loud programmable keys because they're 
quite hard to press in an instant moment um, but also a braided cable would be nice in the future but i understand that they couldn't do this at this price point point. and the keyboard the keyboard's been all right at the start i didn't really like it but i like the colors and i got used to typing on it uh, it is quite loud for a membrane keyboard, but it doesn't really give you the um, feedback that you would get from a mechanical keyboard. But um, yeah, I guess it's it's nice. It's a bit big for me. Obviously, it has the numpad on the side. Overall, it's been alright. Um, the keys, you know, they don't feel too good. But I'll tell you something. Uh, the dust does quite easily get in there, so make sure you're cleaning it regularly. And um, yeah, that's basically my thoughts on it and how I've been using it over the past year and a half. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully a Valorant video, um, but anyway, see you guys.